Okay. Um, so I, I want to talk about uh, this video that I saw on YouTube. <clears throat> it was it was about a person who had a normal job, and one day he decides to become a professional public speaker. So he goes and he sees his boss. He tells him that I want to quit. The boss tells him that if you want to quit, I will raise your salary so that you will be with us more because we need you. And then he says, okay, I need to, I need to uh, think about it. And then he goes home, he, a couple of weeks later, he, go, he goes to his boss's uh, office again then the boss, his boss, offers him even higher salary. So this time, he goes to his home again, and he thinks about another two weeks. After these two weeks, he finally decides to leave his job, even though it was great job, even though it he he he. He, uh, he was going to have a perfect lifestyle. He decides to quit his job without an income to pursue his interest, which was public speaking. After three years, he became professional public speaker, and today he is known internationally, and everyone, uh, he's the idol of many people. Everyone wants to be him and he teaches to large crowds of how to become better public speaker. So I thought that the point of this story was that when you want to become someone in your life, the, the reason that might prevent you from reaching your goals are not good things, are not good uh, I mean, are not bad things, are not uh, like bad life, bad friends, bad family, low income, but they are good things. They are normal lifestyle. So you, you decide to not pursue your, your uh, goal because you settle for something that you think it is good enough. But you should live it and you should pursue your goals to reach whatever you want to be in your life. <laughs> Three minutes, so a tad, just a minute long, that's okay. Okay, feedback from Musa. I, I thought I saw all four of the gestures, I thought those were very useful. I thought also to feed off of that, you have eye contact, you did look at, the, did look at people. I like eye contact with me especially, so it's in me in the eye directly. So the eye contact when you did give it was very good. But at that time that you were thinking, you did look Yeah. Because it's okay though. Why is that? I think it was okay for him to look down given the type of speech he was giving. It was more like a story in a way. But it makes sense with like motivational speech as well. So the two blended together. When you look down, you're almost concentrating the audience. You feel that you're concentrating. So that gives the audience more interest, I think. Right. So it's, it's different perceptions of it. How do you say was Musa's cadence, Brandon? What do you mean by cadence? Speed more so. It's it's more so the the stylistic aspect. Was it's kind of like your, the rhythm of the speech. The rhythm. It, it goes like the Fun Tramp family has a really good rhythm when they sing. I thought it was it was nice. It was nice and slow. I don't. I didn't feel like you varied it a lot. Yeah. Like the, the tone you mean? The cadence. We're talking Tons. about something related to speed and delivery. Yeah. Speed I feel like it's you the rhythm of the speech. I feel like it was yeah. exactly what Brendan said. It was slow, predominantly, but it didn't really vary. You didn't pick up the speed. Yeah. So that's something I, I, I would touch up on is the speed of delivery, that you were predominantly slow. And I feel like at especially some points, you could have really sped it up. And it helps show the excitement. It really helps show what's important when you're not the same point, but show something different. Amanda. I thought you did a uh, good job of varying your tone. You know, you tell a 
story, told the story, and then this awesome thing happened, and you were really excited about it. So I really like that. You paced a little bit, yeah. maybe watch a little bit, but I did, I did like the tone, and because it turned, like, like you said, it turned from a story to a motivational and inspiring speech. Hand gestures. Well, for Reese, that's all you raised your hand. Um, I was just going to say the same thing about this being, being like a little bit slow. But... I think Mark already mentioned that he had uh, decent hand gestures. Hey, your hand gestures, okay. Musa, were just off the charts camera. awesome. Yeah. Those are all four types. So amazing job there. It's appropriate for the content. Well, how was my body movement? Like, mm. cool pacing. Pacing. Yeah, sometimes. pacing a little bit from back, back and forth. Just a little bit too much. Too much? A little bit too much. Oh. So maybe for that, structure it with your points at first. I mean, and then once you get that good, then you can start a free flow from that. So maybe as you hit your points, you're going to want to organize that before what you want to do with your body. So I challenge you next time, Musa, that when you're talking, try not to pace. So be, be aware of your body movement. Second thing, I would say occasionally change that speed of delivery <clears throat> to be quicker. And what would be a third? Fiona? I think verbal instructions were too Could you project? Uh, I think the verbal instructions were too obvious. OK. We can hear you say it. Yeah, because you yeah, would care you. I, I wasn't thinking about what I was going to say. No. I challenge yourself. No, so like, cha like that's definitely OK. But it's OK to take a pause there. We all make that mistake from time to time. Thank you.